Hey, Good Life family, happy Friday. Thank you so much for tuning in for today's 128 moment coming to you live from the parking lot here at Good Life. And since it is January 28th on this lovely Friday, we are gonna be looking at Proverbs chapter 28 and it's our last time together in Proverbs. And Proverbs 28 has an interesting idea for us and it's something that I want us to look at. And as we look at this verse, I want you to think to yourself, is this actually true? Like practically in my life, do I actually believe this? And this is the verse, Proverbs 28, verse six. It says, it's better to be a poor man with integrity than it is to be rich, but crooked in your ways. Proverbs presents this, it says it's better to be poor, but to be a person with integrity than it is to be rich, but be crooked and not have integrity. So my question is, do we actually believe this? And what's underpinning this? What are we actually getting at? I think maybe intellectually we'd agree that we don't wanna be bad people, but also intellectually we would agree that it's a lot better to have income and have wealth than it is to be poor. I think if we're being honest, who wouldn't choose the side with more money than the side with less money? However, the conversation that I think is a platform for us to get to out of this verse is, um, what time span are we talking about? You know, in the short term, maybe it is possible to be a, a rich, you know, we're gonna use the word rich talking monetarily, but I think we're also looking at other things too. We could talk about status or friendships or whatever it is on this earthly world. If we look on a short time span, I would say it's possible to be somebody who lacks integrity, but instead has a lot of stuff or a lot of things. And the longer we expand this time span, the less true that becomes. So I think ultimately when we're hearing God speak in Proverbs, when we put the entire perspective of eternity, yes, it's infinitely better to have integrity in our hearts and our spirit than it is to have wealth. It's infinitely better to be a poor man with integrity than it is to be a rich man who attains it through crooked ways or dishonesty. And how does that apply to our life? Well, I would say in our life, our struggle is this, that human nature is that we're concerning ourselves with the here and the now. That one of the most difficult things for us to do is to delay gratification or make decisions for us in the future. You know, I heard it once said in psychology um, is that we actually view ourselves in the future is like a completely different person. Like the way our brain processes it is as if we were just a completely different person. We have a hard time thinking about our future selves. So how much more difficult is it for us to think about eternity? It's something we can't wrap our minds around. But my encouragement for you and I today in this brief 128 moment would be to think about this idea in Proverbs, that it is better for us to have less worldly accolation. It's better for us to have less worldly gain or wealth. And it's more important for us to be people of integrity, people who follow after Jesus, people who do things in an honest manner. Because in the grand scheme of not only our lives, but in eternity, what's actually going to matter is our relationship with Jesus and how we treated other people. So church family, that's my 128 moment for today. Hope you have an awesome Friday and reading Proverbs as well. We'll see you guys this Sunday.